Welcome aboard, I'm Captain Jake, and we're back here this week to continue our order of battle play. We are currently playing the scenario of Fall of Singapore. This game is, or has been, developed by the Aristocrats and published by Southern Games. So it's Singapore 1942. Announced by an intense artillery bombardment on British positions, the Battle of Singapore has begun. While the defenders have numeric superiority, they suffer from poor equipment, training, and disagreements in the chain of command. And we can see here by our map where uh, Singapore lies. So, let's get into uh, start the selected uh, scenario. Again, being a historical scenario, we kind of know what happens. But we'll see if we can uh, do better than uh, the British did initially or originally and see what our requirements are. So here we go. So our briefing, uh, Japanese heavy guns have lit up the night sky and lying down in massive barrage along the entire length of the Strait of Dohar. Soon after, Japanese landing craft crossed these straits, which separate Singapore from the Malayan Peninsula. The Australian 8th Division will defend in the northwest sector of the Strait of Johar. The area consists mostly of swamps and jungle broken up by rivers and creeks. It also contains RAF 10 Tengar. Not even close to right, but we'll leave it at, <laughs> at that and hopefully won't have to say it too often. Singapore's largest airfield. Our main objective now is to make sure the Japanese do not capture Paya Libar, which is over here just to the right of our menu. Japanese infiltration units are a particular concern moving far in advance of their primary force, which it looks like they're already uh, captured Ni soon. So let's see what we got next. The fortified defenses of Singapore itself were not constructed to prevent civilian panic. It is therefore imperative that Japanese do not advance anywhere near the city center. Okay, so well, let's just take a quick look around the old map here and see what we got. And here's Singapore. We can see we have some coastal batteries. Looks like uh, some entry points. As we go up the western side here, we have some more fortifications. Looks like the Japanese have come across in strength. And we're defending with our Australian troops. And they do have an airfield up here, so we can't expect uh, some air. And I can already see we have anti-aircraft uh, positions set up. And like at this airfield here, we have anti-aircraft set up and very lightly defended. So uh, they get tanks, troop carriers coming across here, looking down to the center. Same. It does uh, look like we have some Japanese infiltration in this area. There's a uh, Peya Lebar and our British area down here. So, looks like we have 22 turns in this scenario. We have quite a few requisition points uh, and a few uh, units that we can deploy. It looks like we have uh, just a few requisition points for the Australians uh, with no more command points available. So, I guess we'll get into it and see uh, what happens here. Okay, it looks like our uh, primary objective is do not lose 
Pale Libar, and a regain control of Ninsun. All right. So let's see what we have here. There's Nili Soon. And we want to maintain control of this. Okay. Okay, well, I guess we can start deploying our forces. Let's see, do we have an airfield back here? Okay, we do have an airfield. Good. Well, we're going to start uh, deploying our purchasing our units, I guess. Make sure that we do this judiciously. Let's see, air units. We're going to field over here that can support that. Okay, but I need ground attack units. We need tactical bombers here. Strategic bombers. That's okay. Let's purchase and deploy him. And we have five more units to go. fighter escort with him. These guys are going to go after their air units. Uh, I'm going to stick that hurricane with the uh, uh, Blellum. And we have two points left. I don't believe that I can purchase anything for two. Yeah, we do not. Okay. We'll close this. Now we're going to have to decide how to spend our 40 command points. Okay, we can deploy here. No deployment there. I deploy here, hoping we'll see how that works out. We can deploy here and go up the road. Okay, it's all going to be about what we choose.
we are going to keep that guy to cover our troops. Okay, we have a force that we need to get over here to prevent the fall of this town. Double check what. All right, there it is. Okay, we do not want to lose this. That's our primary objective. So close. We got 19 more command points. So We're in the defensive. We're going to move them via the road. We're going to move this blocking force. This force is going to move up here to there. We don't have to defend that. Fifteen to go. One unit here, just to have somebody defending that area, at least warn us when somebody can, starts to come. I should have deployed them in the center. Right. I got 12 more to go. That's paratroopers. 80. Checking to see differences are. Oh, we're going to stick with the British infantry. Yeah, so I don't know if there's anything going to come in behind me. So there's a lot of unknowns here. So, all right, we have two more units that we can deploy. Let's see. Or we can deploy one Matilda tank. Uh, we could deploy a Crusader Mark II. I don't know what kind of... T tanks? Uh, they did have tanks, so let's do that with that group. Let's purchase and deploy that tank. Alright, we got one left to go. So we basically have now deployed our forces we did not bring in any artillery but we could still do that later dates to me we get some more command points at some point so there's our deployed units and there's all the units including ones we have no control over all right so we deployed, we got this force here in the south that we're going to move up to hold our primary objective. And other unit that's going to attempt to uh, root Japanese infiltrators out of this area. So, all right, let's get into it, I guess. Hopefully we deployed our... I 
I suspected. I don't know what they blew up there. Must have blown up that bridge. Smart move on their part. Alright, basically we're watching these guys. While the uh, Japanese perform their actions. Okay. Oh man, it's some heavy stuff coming down that center. Around the neck group. Don't know how long they're gonna hold off. I got no control over them anyway, so it didn't really matter what they do. Scenario though, I had to help them out because they were getting wiped out. So we'll wait and see what happens this time. Hopefully they uh, perform better. But I wouldn't count on it. There are a lot of troops coming down the center. Yeah, well, we'll lose that airfield. I don't see any air units. Yeah. to our 22 turns, but we'll wait and see. Yeah, I've lost four, moved him out of there too. Yeah, that's going to be a heck of a fight to take that. Oh, there we go. Good news is our Spitfires can ravish pretty quick. Hopefully the Australian Air Force does the same thing. All right, uh, no changes here. So, now we can begin our turn. Got him in the center of that town. I'm hoping that they can. Uh... All right, it's Ki. Right, I know. Oh, even these guys flying around and. If I can afford not to. Yeah. I'm not going to leave those guys flying around. In back here. Okay, got that guy setting up defense. Alright, let's. this. I oh, can't get my heavy infantry there. Let's get my normal infantry up there.
We're not going to move too far too fast. Just we don't want to get trapped. Oh. See who do we got to move yet? Ah, really? No way. I can't control the Australian troops too? Well, cool. Alright, I'm gonna leave him dug in there. I'm just gonna keep these guys in defensive posture. their open terrain. Okay, their defense, they blew that bridge. Uh, we'll wait and see if someone tries to come across. And what is that? Uh, okay. Okay, anti tank. Let me make sure to see what we got here. 25 pounder, aviation, bow force unit covering the troops. I prefer it doesn't cover him now anymore because I moved him out of the damn way, idiot. Alright, we got nobody to shoot at. Leave him there. Okay, got this universal carrier. An open terrain. We're gonna move him back. Here. Use the jungle for defensive purposes. All right, this guy is way out on his own. Let's see. Gonna lose two. He's still in I don't want to lose the unit. I was gonna say just do a fighting withdrawal. Okay. Probably gonna lose him. He'll fight better in the defense. Okay, yeah, we're losing up our points here initially, so let's see what else we got. Alright, uh, okay. I'm looking here, yeah, this. He's out of supply. I think he's a lost cause, so. Give him five. All right, let's get this guy out of here. Who we got to move? All right, he's good. He's in good defensive position. Yeah, this guy's a. Okay, next. It's good defensive position. Okay. That is a buffalo. I got go up here and hit this guy. Oh yes. Oh. Zero.
All right, that guy's a good defensive position. All right, I'm going to bombard. I was surprised that we got control of all these units. It really kind of shocks me, but I'll take it. Uh, leaving big holes. <laughs> Not doing anything else, but leaving some big holes. All right, he's good. Defensive position. Defense. Same there, same there. Same there. Yep, same there. That should be cycling back through. Okay. Well, we cycled all the way through our troops here. Uh, now it comes for the bad news. Let's see, let's see what the uh, enemy is going to do. Okay. We knew that was going to happen. They got aircraft flying out there. Well, we lost one on that unit. Come on. Yes, good job. All right, good, good, good. All right, now. They're assaulting that. Don't lose it. Ah! Well, he went right back where I wanted him to go, so that's okay. Down to two. Save the unit. Hopefully we can get the unit out of there. Probably not. He just took a uh, heal, okay. Took a heal. Grab us this side. Oh! Pull those guys back a little. Aha! Wait a minute. How'd he start off with a four? What the hell? Well, I don't remember that. Well, we knew that was happening. I don't remember that unit only being a four moving up there. I don't understand that at all. Ah, darn it, lost the unit, okay, oh man, all right, well, let's see what happens, all right, my uh, timer went off, we're going to do uh, our turn, then their turn, and then we'll, as always, uh, leave it to start our turn, so, all right, okay, uh, I don't remember this. He's losing points for some reason. He's a, you know what out of me, but he's this guy's out in the open. He is a tactical unit. Better of an 
aircraft. to that guy. I can't believe that. That he survived. Okay, well, we're going to do this. And he lost one. That should make our attack here better. Shoot. Pull this guy back and definitely repair him. that time okay now let's set up our defensive perimeter here that guy down here he can protect I want to make sure that the, I don't have I want to make sure I don't have uh, guys sneaking in behind here oh. all right let's see what else we got okay he's staying there He's still good defensive there. Okay, he's defending there. Do our air attacks immediately. Start hitting the button again. All right. Two and two. Don't know what he's got backing him up, though. So. Two and two. I could move him up. And that's three and one. Better out there now. That's what I wanted to see. Good. All right. Uh, not healed. Heal. All right. So let's see what we got. Oh, this guy's just getting hit by these guys over here. So. Bombarding them. Gonna use them for something there. Nothing. Let's see where 
they're pressing me. Not pressing me there. Not pressing me here. Pressing me a little bit to the north. We're gonna leave him right there. All right. This guy can now pull back. And this guy. That air unit's covering there. He's doing fine. Okay, he's set there, that's good. He is set very well there, okay. He's good, he's good. I think we're good. Wait a minute, go back, do this, hit him. Yeah, you never know. Never know what you might get might get hit. Okay. Let's do that with our nothing you can see, so it's infantry, one pounder. Oh nothing. Okay. I think that's it for our turn, so let's uh, hit them up for their turn. Let's see what the uh, fun-loving guys do. All right, here they come to bomb. Oh, man, their stupid bomber took out two. Oh. All right, he's going back. That's good. He gets sick of being beat up by that fighter. that was hope that didn't mean that the game crashed oh no okay well it did mean the game crashed but uh, the old adage save and save often is uh, coming to save my proverbial hide for the day it uh, it did uh, crash uh, doing their turn three I do believe so we are back to where we were just a second ago and uh, we'll hit uh, to end our turn and uh, see what they do. So you can see, may see some actions that they've uh, have done before. And uh, let's just see what happens. They're moving their tanks over there and attack. Ooh. Sucker hurt hurt my infantry unit bad. And they're still bombarding that guy. Well, he's out in the open, so there's nothing I can do. Oh, and here they come. Come on. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Uh oh. Uh, he's not going to do anything. Yeah, boom. Uh, shoot, there goes my air defense that I was counting on. Oh, well. I know where we're going to bomb. All right, that was a quick turn for them. Uh, but uh, that will do it for today. We just want to finish their turn so we can do our turn three of uh, 22 of the scenario fall of Singapore. So uh, we will close this. And as you can see, we always do a kind of a minor review. We have our British units that we're trying to move to uh, Nisun, uh, that's our secondary objective. And we have a really good defensive force, well at least I think it's a good defensive force down here. 
uh, with some aviation units supporting. Should have two Spitfires and a Hurricane down there. So we'll see how that works. We have a unit here uh, that's basically just holding this town to see if anybody moves through the area since it's a major road junction. And our Australian forces, which we have control of, which kind of really surprised me considering we did not have control of the Australian forces last time, are uh, doing a, a good delaying action. Uh, we're taking some losses, but they are uh, putting up a pretty good scrap. So uh, that's good. So next week we'll pick it up right here where we left off. And again, uh, thank you for supporting my uh, small channel. Uh, I hope that you're enjoying the uh, playthrough of the various order of battle scenarios that we're playing in the uh, Burma Road campaign. So this is uh, Captain Jake wishing you and yours fair winds and following seas. Until next time.